So let's do the intro or whatever. Uh, yo, what is up, my homies? Today, I feel like playing some... Hold up. Now I gotta find it. Okay, retake. Yo, what is up, my homies? Today, I'm gonna be playing some Just Shapes and Beats. I only have the demo version because the original version is expensive. So I'll just play the demo, do commentary video, kind of like the Ding Dong XL video, I'm thinking. Well, you thought right. I'm back. Editor TRG, coming in hot. So I plan on making this video the exact same way that I made Ding Dong XL. Except for the fact that I'm playing the demo version of Just Shapes and Beats and not Ding Dong XL. And I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video a little more than you enjoyed my other video in the style because this game has a lot more depth than Ding Dong XL does. But then again, that's not really saying much about Just Shapes and Beats considering that the shallow end of a kiddie pool has more depth than Ding Dong XL. And... I'm probably do a voiceover this part because it's so bad. So I don't really remember it. I remember you're this little dude in like the vast open world and you're like, okay, let's not die today. And that's essentially the whole game. But yeah, like this guy, right? And then you can move around. Oh, you can dash, that's cool. Okay, the concept to this game is really good actually. Like I actually really love the concept to this game. There's so much to keep track of. And I'm dead, okay, okay. Let's bring it back. Oh, okay. I thought I'd have to start the whole thing over. Well, this kind of this kind of takes away the fun. So what do I mean by it takes away the fun? Well, this game makes it so you have three lives and checkpoints, which I don't think is a good idea at all. I think that makes it way too easy. I think it should either be you have three lives to complete the level, or you have checkpoints to complete a level with a specific theme. That way, it doesn't feel like you're doing individual levels in a row, but rather one whole level with checkpoints. Also, right here, I just want to give a quick shout out to the developers of this game because this level is phenomenal. So you're probably like, why is this level phenomenal? It's just like two obstacles. Well, maybe the user doesn't know how to dash yet. If the user doesn't know how to dash, then they'll be severely limited in their movement. This level focuses on the dash mechanic and you can't beat it without it, so they are forced to learn how to dash. So not only does this mechanic make the game easier for the player, but it also makes it more fun as this mechanic brings added depth into the game. I also love the fact that the music gets much more intense, and when the music gets more intense, more things happen on the screen. Or maybe that was the tutorial? Yeah, that must have been the tutorial. Yeah, that was the tutorial. <laughs> Kronos. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing some Kronos, guys. <laughs> only, only dashers would get that reference. Okay, I did not know that thing did that thing. Jeez, this game's kind of intense. I don't know what that guy does. It's kind of scary. Whoa, you relax there, pal. It's This doesn't sound like the, like the Grono song. Oh, I love this song. This is, yeah. This is the song in, like, um. Uh, well, anyway, the song is in Geometry Dash, and it's really good. I think it'd be fun to have, like, like a level editor in this game. Oh my gosh, I got sniped. Oh shoot, I have one life left. I just realized that. No, I was so close. Logic Gatekeeper, I've never heard this song. Uh oh. This is probably like, I don't want to say the most epic song so far, but like, the most epic level. But also the song is really good too. Also, I wonder if you can change the color in any way in the full version instead of just pink. If you can change it to any other like neon color. Okay, I've never done this level. I have no idea what I'm getting into. Long live the new fresh. 
Oh, it's like a little, it's like a little boss guy. That's kind of cute. Well, things are going a little, little insane on mode over here. And we just got to relax on the, on the hype factor. Yeah, so it's like a boss. This is so cool. This is so cool. Yeah, I'm dead. Dang it. Okay, okay. Bring it back. Bring it back. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. I try There's nothing I can do. Oh my gosh. Quick reaction time. I'm dead. Dang it. I, I think, did I last a little longer than I did last time? Ah, ah, okay. So, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this game. If there was a scale for like your skill, right? And at the top was like, you know, like watermelon, but at the bottom it was like, you know, like kumquats or something. Like, I would be squashed. That's how bad I am. I'm not nearly as skilled as I should be for this game. It's over. What do you mean? Wait, there are lives? <laughs> what the heck? Run it back. Run it back. It's not over. That's the time it is. It's my time to shine. This is my comeback story. I might not even take damage. The boss is drawing power. All his employees are flocking to him. Oh, this is the farthest I've ever made it. That was a good game. That was really good. Anyway, I hope you like my commentary. I don't, I don't really know how good of a commentator I am, but I hope you liked it. And I hope that you enjoyed the video, because I will probably be putting a lot of editing into it. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys later. I ain't even... Oh no! Oh no! I, I hit the tripod! <laughs>